Good morning, Sugar Plums. How are you guys today? We've got a lot of astrological things going on. Lots of goodies this week. So we've got Saturn and Mercury going retrograde this week. And of course, last night, we, well, early this morning, we had a super blood moon go eclipse. So I decided today we will pull the moonology cards. I, my trusty Dusty, because I don't take them out very often, and a black moon card. And that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so let's get started. First card we have. Surrender to the divine. Full moon. <laughs> and we are in a full moon. I love that. Bet you love it when it comes together. Ah, spirit, I love them. And then from the black moon deck, we have Saturn, truth. Aha. Hmm. Okay. What did I just say? Saturn's going retrograde. Interesting. Okay. And then we have... Okay. Your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn. Hmm. Okay. So what are they telling us today? Well, they're definitely affirming what we know. Now, because Saturn is going into retrograde... There may be some truths that are hidden from you this week. Keep an eye out for that. I'm not saying go around and judge everybody you meet, okay? But surrender to the divine. In other words, if you're confused about a situation that comes up this week, if you're confused about someone in your life or business or work or however that works out for you, relationships, family life, if you're, if you're confused about anything this week, right, that you think maybe something is being hidden from you, surrender to the divine. Go and ask your spirit guides. Sit back into your intuition and ask for help. Surrender that question to the divine. There's a very easy way of doing that. One, of course, is to meditate and get in touch with your spirit guides. Another way is to just ask. Write it down, okay? Say, Spirit, please tell me this. Give me this answer. And then watch for synchronicities. Watch for angel numbers. Watch for the answer to be unfold in front of you. Keep your intuition open. Open that third eye and look for the guidance from the divine. They're asking you to surrender that this week if you have questions about maybe a hidden truth to you. Now, your hard work is paying off. Capricorns are all about work, right? Capricorns are the manifestors of business and, and um, all your coins and everything, right? So your hard work is coming to an end here. You're coming to fruition. You're seeing it happen. Is it going to happen before the new moon? That's quite possible. Uh, new moon in Capricorn doesn't happen anytime soon. So this is more of a reference to that Capricorn side in you. Maybe you have a sun, moon, or rising, okay? Or maybe you just feel the Capricorn in you, okay? Everybody's got a little bit of that coins of that um, pentacles in you okay and so any hard work that you've been working on and um, this may also relate back to uh, Saturn in uh, truth right because it's going into retrograde this may be about business very well could be about business here okay could be about your finances um, I think that for a lot of you that's probably right so surrender to the divine this week if you have questions today, especially today, as we're in the full moon, if you have questions that you have something that you think is hidden from you and you're not getting the full answer about business, about your job, about your home finances, about whatever that is, and I really think that this is more about your everyday life, right? Your everyday job, finances, that sort of thing. If you think something is being hidden from you, absolutely go to the divine and ask for guidance, okay? Do your meditations this week. Um, just write it out, journal it, and ask for some answers. Okay? So that was a quick one. But I am going to be taking this on over to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to be pulling some more cards. And we're going to do an extended on this reading. If you'd like to join us, the link is in my bio. Otherwise, have a great week. Have a great Wednesday. And I will see you all tomorrow. Okay? Bye-bye, guys. Okay, let's pull some tarot. I've actually already pulled them for us. Um, and uh, see if we can get some clarifiers on these cards. So remember, the first one, of course, is Surrender to d the Divine. And your first card is... Okay, the Nine of Swords. Interesting. 
<laughs> and then for Saturn and Truth, you have the Fool. <laughs> okay. And finally, we have the Six of Swords. Okay. Well, these are really confirmations of what we were just talking about. So that's convenient. Yes. <laughs> okay. So. Surrender to the divine. So the nine of swords, what is this telling you? Well, it's basically telling you the same thing. It is saying to you, you've been carrying this for yourself for a very long time. You've been telling yourself um, that you are the only one who can handle this and you are the only one who can take care of this. And what they're asking you to do is surrender whatever this burden is, whatever any kind of burden is that's holding on. Let it go. Surrender it to the divine. This is just confirmation. I find this amazing. <laughs> okay. The fool. <laughs> it is. Remember, we talked about Saturn going into retrograde. And that maybe there's a truth hidden from you. There's some kind of fool who is playing games with you and trying to hide something from you. And this is normally something you would handle for yourself. I'm the only one who can deal with this. I'm the only one who can fix this. I'm that You've been telling yourself that for a very long time. Spirit is saying, nope, you need to surrender that to us. Surrender it to us. Stop being that in its overly independent human being, which the swords are, of course. Air signs, right? And let us handle this fool. Okay, hand it over. Let them handle this fool that's hiding something from you. Okay, and finally, we have the Six of Swords. So remember that this is about uh, your hard work is uh, paying off. Of course, the Six of Swords is telling you all of your hard work is coming to fruition. So this tarot draw was definitely just a, a confirmation of what spirits already told us. Maybe we didn't know to go this deep, but it's always nice to have a little bit of confirmation to your reading, right? It's always um, helpful. So again, they're telling you here, you've been working really, really hard. There's been a lot of struggle there for your, whatever this is. I'm, uh, I'm like uh, before we said, I think that this has to do with job or business of some kind. And so this is a recognition that it's been rough for you. This is a recognition that you've been carrying these swords around. It's a recognition that you've been struggling for a while now. But everything that you've been doing is coming to fruition. Okay? It's paying off. And this is your confirmation of that. <laughs> very interesting. Very cool. <laughs> I tell you, Spirit, never ceases to amaze me. I am going to drink my coffee because it's probably cold by now. And my TikTok friends probably don't know it, but definitely my YouTube friends know <laughs> I drink a lot of coffee. Go back and check some of my videos. You'll see what I mean. I'll help you uh, grow your intuition while you're here. How's that? Give that one a try. But confirmation. It's just confirmation. <laughs> oh, thank you, Spirit. That was very interesting. I, I love it. It never ceases to amaze me how uh, remarkable Spirit is and how giving and sharing and uh, how they see us and acknowledge us and acknowledge our needs. It's beautiful. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful Wednesday. Thanks for joining me, my YouTube friends, as always, and any TikTokers that came over. Hi, <laughs> come back again. Okay. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.